So, reason why I had to halt the stream for five more minutes was because I ended up making a coat for uh, Mr. Solas. So, it's very shiny and very intricate and kind of hilarious. So I wanted to make sure to do that. <laughs> oh, so today's plan is we are going to go through the Temple of Mithal and handle as much stuff as possible. I'm not sure if I can immediately go into that. However, I think it's just about time. We already handled the Grey Wardens and we already handled Orlais mess. So right now, what Pride had brought is the last thing to do. Also, it sounds kind of low, or maybe I'm crazy. Sadly, I don't have a straw today. It's so. time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. That's what we want. Demoralized soldiers fall first. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We strike Corypheus now, while his people are reeling. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. In Which comes more again. surprise no one. Fortunately, mm. I can assist. <laughs> Ask Quister. The guards outside aren't for show. I'm not here to amuse myself, Inquisitor. Corypheus yearns for something he must not find. Which is? His best? If I show you. Go ahead, Amy. So this isn't the last mission. It's the if we're talking about in terms, probably second to last, although there are this different small things in between, is like this. an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where? Does it lead? <laughs> so clever, Morgan. There we go. God, the last court was just so much of a pain. I got scared and I used another account in order to play it. Like, I didn't want to do it on my main account, so I did it on my side, and I kept losing over and over again. Good goodness. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I like how they pass through Mythal's freaking uh, Oblivion. There's a nice touch there. <laughs> I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be.
A useful trick. For one who knows the way, certainly. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. It still give me, gives me heebie-jeebies, but like, I wish, you know, like for the elves, like according to Mass Empire, the elves see something completely different, or at least a little bit more different than what humans see. And it's just like, damn it, I wanted to see it. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me- Hey, Esper. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. Well, if anyone has cheats for the last court where I don't have to pay money, I am all for it. Yeah, it's called paying t in time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't enjoy it. Like, I didn't enjoy paying money, so I'm totally okay with waiting. But that's just me. If they'd only back to our world, then places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved, but only for a time. One cannot remain. Uh, why? Why? I hate how it says that. Freaking the warden stabbed you, Morgan. What the hell? <laughs> what do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Yes, I wish you could see a difference. Another thing that is not consistent with the book, I also wish they revealed Brielle's access to the crossroads. All that goodness is skipped. Yep. The fact, like, I really hate how they just set it up as if you side with Duke Gaspar de Chalon, he's respected by the Chevaliers. If you side with the Empress, then you get all of her armies. If you side with Briella, you get elven spies. No. That was so stupid to me. I was like, yeah, spies are really helpful, but the Inquisition has spies and a whole bunch. No, she has a freaking Olivia network right behind her. Well, not, like, not the whole thing, but you know what I mean. It, it bothers me in that aspect, but it's just like... There is enough foreshadowing, though, that they can approach in DLCs. I still think there's a possibility. The way that they framed the end, the the pro or the epilogue, was that Briella could come back. It, that is, if she got like exiled or whatever, she could come back in like a fury. And I kind of wish that like Orle, because they know how strong they hold on to their alliance with the Inquisition, that they'll end up actually attacking the Inquisition from the Illuvion, or with the Illuvions, like going into Skyhold through the Illuvion and just attacking everyone. I actually would enjoy that. I mentioned this in my blog, but never really talked about it. <laughs> if most of these mirrors are broken or locked, then what use are they? Um... This is not the fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barrier and enter the fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. This is the book. Last Empire. <laughs> it's a good one. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Okay, let me see if I can pull up my favorite entries. Did I mark it? I love how they mentioned the Dreadwolf so 
much in this book. And it's like, God damn it, Patrick Reeks, you knew what you were doing. You know what you were doing so well. Hold on, there's one thing that I actually want to recite here. Because it's like, this is, this whole book, there's so much context behind Brielle and Celine that it just kills me that they don't actually mention it. You know? It just, I don't know. Hold on. Where is it? Let's walk. <laughs> I'm gonna take forever to try to find this. All right, let, let, me, let me just do this entry. I thought this was really cute after I read it. Of course, I marked it like a loser. This is, this is in Briella's uh, point of view. Too many years being called rabbit, too many years ducking her head for, and working from the shadows, too many years of being proud of who she was, a feeling like she could cling to like a floating log in a rushing river. It had kept her head above water, but it had never let her steer her own course. She would fight for her people because no one else would, and Fen Harrell take whoever got in her way. It's such a nice touch. It's like... <laughs> Let me see here. Empress of Fire, Marina of Lion. Okay, so let's go back and let's attack. Now, we want to make sure we don't talk to too many people because the thing is that I don't want to trigger any of Iron Bull's quests yet because we do want to try and initiate the romance post chargers, but I need to be out of the romance with Sarah first. And in order to do that, we need to do this next quest. So I'm just going to save so that if we mess up, we can go back just in case. Yes, uh, if you want to wear heavy armor, but you can't normally wear heavy armor, you can use silverite in order to, like for instance, uh, this, this outfit right here that my inquisitor has, this is heavy metal, or er, heavy armor. But if you use silverite, you can actually wear it. There's also a, a couple of other crafting materials that is just the same. Um, it'll take me too long to actually find it. <laughs> I can't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, breaking up with Sarah so soon? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep going. <laughs> I think we're good on that end. Could do all these, but at the same time. It's interesting to see how much has changed in Halam Sharal. And so little. Madame Meprise is a fixture. The sun will grow cold before she retires. Ha! With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed, the Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, bum, bum, bum. Is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. We don't have to worry about this Illuvian if Corypheus isn't alive to use it. Stopping him thusly would be ideal, if you could manage it. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Illuvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers, you'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You follow the orders of your Inquisitor. All three of you. <laughs> Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Meliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. Hey, pal. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. 
Please lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. <gasps> Although it is good to see. We forgot to go to your trainer. Any further Shoot. instructions, Inquisitor? Shoot. We forgot to go to Crufius. Or not Crufius. We forgot to go to uh I kinda wanna be a Rift Mage. Shoot. Oh well. Remember what Corypheus has done while you plan. Every loss, every setback, every death. Let him learn what it means to be an enemy of the Inquisition. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. Your trainer is so disappointed. I think I'm allowed to back up, right? Oh, I can back up. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna go through, do the Rift Mage, see if I have the, the mats to do it. And if so, we'll become a Rift Mage. Say hi to your trainer, be all cool. And then, uh... Yeah, I can't believe I forgot that. Oh my god. We need two more Venatori things in the Exalted Plains. Ugh, I hate the Exalted Plains. I, oh, I don't want to go there. 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 I am your trainer. <laughs> what is your name? I am your trainer. <laughs> the mages collector sent me. Wait, no, they didn't. Wait, yes, they did. We're happy to help. Do do do. All right, let's go real quick. <laughs> We're gonna run through. I have requests for information on your lineage from a few interested parties at the Winter Palace. And trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. <laughs> no, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. <laughs> I'm not bait. Hush. Just look pretty. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Uh, Sarah, Cass, and... Uh... I'm glad Cass doesn't leave because I always need it. I always need a... Uh... What's it called? A warrior. <laughs> Hush! Just look pretty. Cause you're so good at that! Ah. Alright. We're gonna get the Venatory Tome. Two Venatory Tomes. Then we're gonna bail real fast, go back to Skyhold, create the thing, talk to your trainer, and then go to the Arbor Wilds. I love you, Harding, but we got stuff to do. Yeah, I kept a no, 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 back off. I don't care. Um, yeah. All right. I can't remember where Gulan and Ro it's like somewhere here, I think, if I remember correctly. So that's where I need to go. Oops, wrong one. Hey Ash, what? Who was the character on a horse in one of the tarot cards? He was unavailable. Oh, that was Blackwall. He kind of left. <laughs> he got mad because. Oh, seriously, bro? Seriously? No, I ain't. I'm. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Bail, bail, bail hard, bail hard. Oh man. Uh, you can actually see it. I uploaded the video today on my channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash ladyxinsanity. You can actually see the the part whenever he left the Inquisition. It's actually quite hilarious. I loved it. God damn it. Really, bro? Pussy. You're a chevalier for Christ's sake. Learn how to freaking use a sword. Alright. We're fine, right? No, we're not fine. Great. Ugh. Why do I hate the Exalted Plains? Because of all of this. <laughs> I, I love it for the lore. I hate it for everything else. How can anyone stop <sighs> By using I your sword. Um, who are you? Herpaderp. Okay. That was easy. So let's get back on the horse. I'm on a horse. 
Move. I do love the armor though. This horse is awesome, but it looks like it looks like a freaking lightning bug. Not a lightning bug. Actually, no, yeah, a lightning bug. From the back. Are we at the Venator yet? Nope. Um. Uh, I'll deal with it later. Where's the Venatori? We're in the area, but I forget where it is. Also, screw this area. Screw this area because this is where- This is the region where Solus breaks up with you. By the way. God damn it. Where's the Venatori? I can't remember it. Hey, Solas. Nope, I don't care. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Come on. I just want one or two little Venatories, and that's all I want. You are not Venatory, Bale. Navuris? Is this it? This might be it. Please be it. Mm, nope. These are the other dudes. I don't like these dudes. <sighs> Where is my trainer? That's it. I'm, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. I want to do the mission so bad today that I just don't care. Venatory tomes, locations, I forget the region in which it is in. I think I passed it too, which is really making me angry. Okay, wait. Oh no, I didn't pass it. As a matter of fact, my location was so close. I had it right here. We had to go here. Damn. You can run over people with your horse? Oh yeah. Where can I get yeah. silverite? Uh, go to the really icy region. Shoot, what is it called? <laughs> I just I just realized how stupid I sounded saying that. Um, Empire the Lion. That's where it is. You have to go to Empire the Lion and... No! No, no, no. Don't care. Go to Empire the Lion and then, uh... Go to the top right. If you go to the top right, there is a whole bunch of silverite. But there's uh, three dragons, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, Vanatori, where are you? I want to kill you clean. Da, 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 and take your tomes. Okay, they should be somewhere around here. Oh, where, oh, where did the Thanatori go? There they are. And also, I have to level up. Oh, where, oh, where can they be? Eh, and I, I hate Tempest. Gotta be level 16, or else you'll only get one Silverite per node? Hmm. I was level 12 and I like saw like a million and a half all the time. So that confuses me. But maybe that's, that's true. I don't know. But I farmed that area when I was level 12. Thank you! Fay Touch Cotton. Come on. Come on. Venatory Tom. Ten Venatory Tom. Venatory Tom. Venatory Tom. Yes! Okay, one more. 
technically I could glitch it, but I don't want to risk it right now. Um, oh, but we have to go hella north, don't we? It's like here. Damn it. Uh... That explains why I could only get one Navarite for every harvest, because I knew I could get more. I was like, nah, bro, why are you jacking my purple rock? <laughs> oh, man. Never had that issue, but maybe, I don't know. Oh, yeah, wait, no, I have the Inquisition perk, that's why. Yeah. I was level 12, but I had the Inquisition perk, which gives you more, if I remember correctly. So that's probably yeah. why. But, like, that area has so many, like, Silverite nodes. Like, so many. Why does everyone hate Sarah? It's not I hate Sarah. It's just that I loathe her. <laughs> like, no, it's just like anytime I have I try to have a conversation that disagrees with her beliefs, she just goes, that's stupid. And then she's like, that's not a conversation. You realize that's not a conversation. It, it, it's like arguing with a child. It's not that she has the mind of a child. It's just that she argues like a child. I don't know. She's funny. She really is. And I do have a laugh with her. Oh god, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. But, uh... I just can't. Oh my god! I don't know what I was doing. That was awful. I like I like how Sarah is otherwise. Like, she is funny. But then it comes to the fart jokes and you're like, uh, that, that just kind of... Yeah. Wasn't Sarah about 17, 18? She's like 18 to 20. I had a chuckle with that. Um, I think it was David Gator who was like, why does everyone ask how old uh, the characters are? Oh yeah, he looks like this. Just go with it or something like that. And I replied to him. Of course he wasn't going to answer this. Ooh, hello. But he, I was like, because ages ago he was asked how old Solas is. He's like, oh, he's maybe 40. <laughs> you clever minx, you. <sighs> I disagree with Sarah on a lot of things, but I still like her. Yeah, she's fun. But I just hate arguing with her. I hate dealing with her sometimes. It's just like, shut up. Like, no, that's not a conversation. Why can't we talk about things normally? I don't know. Damn it, where is the freaking Venatore? Okay, I think we're... No, we still have to pursue this path. <laughs> I like how it just stared at me. There it is. Okay, let's kill these things first. Patrick Lee's had said in his mid 40s. Yeah, I know, right? Ass. <laughs> He's like 40. Plus Sarah, 900. I was speaking with Dagna recently. Did you take some of her tools? Just the thing that removes the screw bits. I thought I'd put it back. I'll put it back. Why did you have it in the first place? Needed it for the hinges. What hinges? Like on a door. Don't worry, it's not for you. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> maybe she'll share mature again then. It's Sarah, maybe not. Depends if she gets tired of it or not. I would like Sarah to come back, to be honest. In some capacity, have her come back later in the, you know, in DLC or Dragon Age 4. And based off how the Inquisitor reacted to her? I don't know. Just have her, like, show her in, show how she is in 10 years. 
That's what I want to see. Because I think seeing, like... I want to see if she actually has, like, some kind of, like, emotional growth. Like, or she just stays a kid forever. Yes! Let's go back to our trainer. We did it, you guys. We can finally do the mission. <laughs> so, wait, wait. Zara goes, well, I'm conflicted. My Lavellan screwed the Dreadwolf, but the thought, the age difference, blah. So Solus is basically a big pedophile. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> oh. So the Tempest tree, skill tree, is not very useful, is it? I don't like it. That doesn't mean that you won't like it. I prefer Artificer more. But if, if we had to not choose... Uh, Rogue. Here we go. Hello. Yes. Oh, whoops. I am waiting for you to complete your task. If you do so, you can be a rift mage. I know how not to die, and I can teach it. It's incredible. Oops. We already talked to her. Hold on. I gotta go and craft the thing in order to become. Yeah. Do you think the Warden will show up in future DLC? My canon Warden romance Alistair and to see them together will give me life. To be honest, I have no idea, considering that the Warden could be dead. There is that permutation, so... Who knows? Tome of Rifts. Oh yeah. Oh! I can do this now! Sweet! Skyhold Garden. I still need to get quarries and logging stands. Damn right you are. But I am the Inquisitor, and you must follow everything that I do, and I say, and that I requisite. Quiet. Words. You are back. You are back, and you have completed the instruction. Alive. Of course, alive. <laughs> and the next step. Now there is a decision. You have to make it. Do you commit to this path? You are my trainer. Haha, <laughs> yes I am. Thank you. <laughs> I will give you this knowledge, and you will use it to great effect. How could you not? You are the Inquisitor, mm -hmm. and you will be a Rift Mage. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sweet. All right. Now we become a rift mage. Actually, wait, hold on. I need to make sure that I get this. Oops, wrong one. This one and this one, this one. Um, do I want veil strike or stone fist? You know what? No. I like this one. This one, this one with Storm Cage is so freaking hilarious. I love it. But we don't have enough. I just realized that. Um, electricity, electricity. Please say I have enough to do this. I do. Awesome. All right, we're good to go. Let's go to the Arbor Wilds. Uh, did they fix the what's it called? I don't know, to be honest. I'm wondering how screwed my warden is. She has a taint, she is a Templar, a Fade Warrior, and got that ma blood magic skills from Avernus. She isn't screwed, isn't she? As long as there isn't anything like Carif- <laughs> I was about to say Carifinus. As long as there's no one like Carifius who can, uh, who will use the blight against the warden, then they're fine. Otherwise, I imagine it's more of that being able to control yourself. I don't know. Oh god. Yes, we're seeing Avalos. <laughs> if Hawk had a specialization, which one would they have for each class? Well, they kind of buffed Blood Mage, but anyway. Um, I don't know. Uh, for Hawk, I would say a 
No, no, not a Rift Mage. I don't think so. Necromancy would make more sense, considering how they tried to pull it together. Um, a rogue? I would not go with the Assassin. Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. A warrior? <sighs> Champion? Too obvious. <laughs> what pride had brought. Cullen. Here we go! The cheesiest moment of all in Inquisition. That isn't going to include a song. Alright, let's bring her and Solas. Because these... Cassandra's hilarious, but... Sarah is hilarious, and Solas is like... Ugh. Him. Oh, I was just thinking Dragon Age Inquisition specializations. If we're talking about, like, of all the specializations I've ever come into pa come to pass... Oh, there's a lot more. <laughs> Oops. Dragon Age Inquisition. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? We're holding, barely. The Red Templars are fighting harder than ever with their master nearby. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Make the monsters pay, Captain. Leave none standing. We shall not flinch, your worship. Not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? We're in the middle of a war, Morrigan. Time is short. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is... You would know! You're a Dale Shelf! If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. So... The problem here... Okay. So... If we have Morrigan drink from the well, that's kind of like, I don't know. I still am hung up on whether to have the Inquisitor drink or Morrigan drink. The Inquisitor drink because it's a grasp for power, but then the Inquisitor is bound to Mathal. 
having Morgan Bantam Mathal is hilarious in its own right, and it's kind of funny, but then it just basically gives the power to the next inheritor, right? So, yeah. Where is Celine? Celine should be somewhere here. There she is. We are aware of the designs Corypheus has on our lives and people, Ambassador. You must excuse us, however, if our mind wanders to our beloved kingdom. I pray our life fares well in your absence. It is our return to court that concerns us. Our dear cousin Gaspar warns it might align with poor weather. It's ambitious to predict so far into the future. I'm confident your majesty can weather any storm. We will see how this battle proceeds. Corypheus yet threatens to engulf us. We are gladdened to see you, Herald. This day will be recalled for ages. We are privileged to witness the fulfillment of the Inquisition's purpose. Uh, it bothers me that she's still wearing that outfit. You have garb for your wear. We know you do. <laughs> I can't speak long. I must join my soldiers on the field. It would be selfish to keep you. Men and women of faith serve you. Their favor is no less than our own. Their service no less dear. With Orle at your side, we will see you victorious against Corypheus. May you walk in the light. Hmm. Would an Asquister who thinks she is the Maker's Chosen actually drink from the well, speaking from an RP perspective? I don't think so, but an Asquister who wants to have power in general would drink from the well. And also would follow the same suit as Morrigan in the matter that why would they, why would she bother with a god that does not exist or is dead, right? Inquisitor, I hear this Eluvian lies in a temple nearby. That's where the fighting will be worst. Andraste, keep you safe. Are you sure you don't want to grab a sword and wade in? I shall remain where I'm of some use, your worship, if it's all the same. Good luck. Sweet. Oh my god. I was pressing Q, and I'm like, why is it not working? That's because it's the search button for dying light. Oh my god, I'm already getting used to it. Crap. Dying light, you need to get out of my head already. I'm I'm back home. An Asquister who wants power will drink. I also believe they want to make sure the power they wield is for the Inquisition's purposes. Why am I going down over here? Uh. <laughs> yeah. It might be a good touch to have the Inquisitor drink. She never really trusted Morgan in the first place. How close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus's work for him. Come on, let's go plug some assholes. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful. As the sun renews itself, so must the faithful renew their love of the Maker. Your penance shall be a joy, serving him with a heart of love unbound. Your struggle shall be a or it redeems you in his sight. I am the Andrastian Inquisitor. This is really hard. If I were just an Asquister, it'd be easy. If I, considering it's an Andrastian Asquister, it's difficult. I've always finished the verse, but let's do this one. The Maker can't have you yet. Not while the Inquisition needs you. My sword is yours, Your Worship. I was a pilgrim at Haven. I saw the wreckage how you emerged to lead us. If the Maker bids me serve you, it will be done. Eh, that worked. It's okay. We it's... Can't send people east. We can't let the Red Templars break the supply lines. <laughs> These shit-eating bastards don't have the strength. We thought that three days ago. Would you risk them breaking through again? Fine. Was that Gideon Emery? But don't send anyone else until I give word. 
That sounded really giddy and Emery-ish. <laughs> Emery-ish. Uh. Everywhere. Make her don't move. you open the wound. Are we driving them back? Do the Red Templars fall? They fall. You've done your part. Rest. Cool. Source, Solis, and Morik in OTP. Oh, I'm gonna mention that whenever we start talking about Fenhara. Oh, we get to talk- I just realized we can talk to guest bard. Sweet. Yay. <laughs> Do you need low approval to kick out Vivienne? Because you get a lot of approval for drinking yourself. Shit, I just forgot about that. Don't worry. We'll be able to screw her up. Even if we get high approval, we can betray her real fast. So, all good. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Where's Gaspar's? Shut up! Oh wait, I don't need to do that. <laughs> Man, they are so excited. Freaking Chevaliers. Come to me. Oh! I just realized these are level 16s. Oh, this is gonna be a good challenge. Also, don't forget, we did Calpurnia's side quest, so. Yeah. Wow, it seems like forever since we did Calpurnia's quest. Like, that was like the first thing we scratched out. Alright, I don't need gear. Let's just do this real fast. Glory to the Inquisition! Glory to all <laughs> That guy puts Iron Bull's Dragon Boner to shame! Oh man. Hello, I can't believe I'm talking to my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. Dang. Welcome to the stream. Oh, shoot. What level am I? Twelve. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. It's worth it, but it's gonna be a challenge. Like, right now. But thankfully, they put enough hell potions aboard, like, everything. So we'll be good. Thanks, Solus. Did you see Solus? He, like... He threw a ball of electricity and then he bailed. He's like, I did my part. See ya. Those were Grey Wardens. They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. If they are forced to obey him, death will be a blessing. <sighs> you killed Hawk in the Fade? Yep, we did in this one too. In my canon, hell no, never, ever. Unless if Alistair were warden, but he was not warden. Is Kieran heir to the throne if Alistair sleeps with Morrigan? <laughs> if he doesn't have an heir with with uh, the warden or Anora, technically, but he's a good kid. 
I wouldn't mind him being a. I wouldn't mind him being one. Even oh, actually, wait, wait, because he's a mage, he already resents the throne. So unless if he hate the fact that he is, uh, that he is a mage, he wouldn't be able to actually gain the throne. Unless if the mages actually were accepted, depending on who would become divine, that'd be a different thing altogether, though. 